Now, over here is our project window, and the project window is where we import and organize all the files that we're going to be working with. And as I mentioned, After Effects can work with many different types of files, video files, audio files, still image files, layered Photoshop files, vector art from Illustrator and programs like that, and a wide variety of other types of files as well. So the main types of files we'll be working with are going to be video files of either shot footage or animated footage and still images. And we'll work with some audio as well. So the first thing we're going to do is just import some files here. And so we're going to right click or control click in the project area. You can also do that by going up to the file menu and choosing import. You get the same thing. And we see here the ability to import files, multiple files, and various types of projects. So we're just going to import some files here. And I'm going to go out to my source folder here, to my footage. And let's bring in just a few different things. We have here a DV file, a QuickTime DV file. Let's open that. And when we first bring that in, you see we get a little thumbnail of it, we get an indication that there's some audio associated with this, and that it's a DV file. And you'll see it says something about separating, separating lower. And I'll explain what that means in a bit. But essentially, we can work with footage that comes off of cell phone cameras, DV footage, HD footage, HDV footage, anything like that. All of that can be brought into After Effects. Let's bring in some HDV footage here. Let's do this one. And oh, we'll bring in, say, a still image file. Something like that. And a music file. Got a music audio here. So uh, let's try. Let's try this one. You can see that's an MP3, so it can work with MP3 files. And one last thing I want to bring in is what's called a sequenced file. And in here, there's a folder here called Rotocat, as you see. And what we have here is a numbered sequence of Photoshop files. And this, in fact, is multiple frames from a piece of stop motion photography taken back in the 1800s by a fellow named Edward Mwybridge. And he was one of the very first to work with stop motion in order to be able to freeze the motion of animals and people. Now you'll notice that when I select that, it says I have the option to import as footage and to bring it in as a Photoshop sequence. So in fact, what I wanna do is just select the very first one here and go to Photoshop sequence and say open. And this will bring in, in fact, all 12 of these files. And you can see now it's going to be numbering them from 0 to 12 as they were numbered there. And this alpha channel interpret footage dialog that just came up, I'll explain in a bit. But an alpha channel is an important concept here in After Effects. Now, what we did, you saw that, in fact, there were individual files. But what this has come in now is, is essentially as a kind of a movie. And if I open this up in a footage window, you'll see that, in fact, what we have here is a sequence of a cat running, running and jumping. That was taken by Edward Mybridge back in the 1880s, something like that, well before actual motion picture photography started. And you'll also see that it's really been kind of isolated from its background. So we'll explain what all this is about in a minute. But the point here is that we can bring in footage that is in individual files that are sequenced together, as comes out of animation programs sometimes. And we can bring those in as a type of movie file. So all of these files now are linked together, and they'll be treated as a kind of a movie file. Now, in our next video, we will move on and look at some more of the interface here and tell you what's going on there.